an out-of-this-world opportunity. NASA is hiring for a new position of Star Explorer. To ensure that only the best candidates apply for the position, NASA has locked the application inside this box. You must solve all the puzzles and clues using your expert stellar knowledge to break into the box and get the application. This is your dream job. The deadline for early submission, which ensures that NASA will look at your application first, ends in 45 minutes. Good luck. To set up the locks, you need to set the three-digit lock to 533, the four-digit lock to 1064, the five-digit numeric multi-lock to 44153, and the five-digit ABC multi-lock to the word solar. To set up the game, first place the NASA application sign inside the big lock box with some candy or other prize. Set the four multi-locks as previously mentioned and put them on the hasp on the big lock box. Place the UV flashlight inside the small lock box with the key lock on it. Next, hang all the star pictures around the room and hide the key behind the picture of Beetlejuice. Place the hint cards, the word bank with the QR code, the EMS and theories true or false page, the key clue, the iPad, the dry erase marker and eraser, and the whiteboard on the table with the large and small lock boxes. Place the spectral clues, the EMS clue, the EMS diagram, the HR diagram, and the galaxy's crossword puzzle inside a manila envelope and hide it somewhere near the table. You will need to use invisible ink with the uh, invisible ink marker to mark the boxes on the galaxy's crossword puzzle for letters that will spell out the word SOLAR, S-O-L-A-R. You will need to set the iPad to the story, this YouTube link, and put a timer on the projector and set it to 45 minutes. A game overview. When students decipher the key clue, they will then use the HR diagram to determine that they should look behind the picture of Beetlejuice for the key to unlock the small lockbox. This will give them access to the UV flashlight. When students shine the UV flashlight over the crossword puzzle, the boxes for, for uh, spelling out solar will be revealed. This is the code for the um, five-digit ABC multi-lock. When students answer the EMS and theories true or false questions using the EMS diagram and then use the EMS clue, the code 1064 will be revealed. This is the code to the four-digit lock. When students use the spectral clue to determine the elements in the stars, the code 44153 is revealed. This is the code to the five-digit numeric multi-log. When students use the iPad to scan the QR code, which will send them to the Google form questions, and they have a word bank on the QR code right here. Okay, they'll need to use those words exactly as they appear or it will not let them go any further. Once they've answered all the questions correctly, the code 533 will be revealed. This is the code to the three-digit multi-lock. You will need an iPad for the story, or I prefer to put it on the projector, that way I can control and pause it so that it doesn't show the setup afterwards. You will need a timer Oh, I'm sorry, the iPad is also for the Google Forms and for scanning the QR code. Um, you'll need a timer on the projector, um, hint cards, a whiteboard with 
an expo marker and eraser that helps them to go through the game. It's easier for them to be able to work as they're going through it. I also choose to use two markers and a manila envelope. I let my, my students, when they are done using two hint cards and feel like they need one more, I let them turn in one of their two expo markers in exchange for a third hint. But that limits them with being able to work the rest of the game. You will need to print out the NASA application sign, all the stars, but most importantly Beetlejuice, the key clue, which is right here, the HR diagram, the EMS and theories true or false questions page, the EMS clue, the EMS diagram, the galaxy's crossword, the QR code, which is also the word bank for the Google form, the spectral clue, and I cut the individual element spectrographs, laminated them, and then uh, stapled them to the, the clue part so that they could just slide the stars under it and get a good line up that way. And then the story, which is optional if you're using the video.